So I'm uh, Staff Sergeant Gladden uh, with the 423rd Security Force Squadron. Yeah, so kind of like how we did was we initially got the call. Uh, our BDOC relay that there was an active shooter at the bunker. Uh, they had a few people that were hurt. So what we did is in our response, we arrived on scene, went radio silent just for our SOPs. We don't want the guy hearing us approaching up on him. Uh, so then we stacked up on the door and the reason for that is so we can get our game plan going. And then so once we went in, uh, we initially started clearing the first room. And then from there, we just kind of went into our flow and then went from next room to next room to next room. And then just did a mental jot down of like the victims that we saw, or like the injured people. Uh, once we took out the perp, um, we secured his weapon and then got that. Uh, the reason why we secure the weapon is just so that individual can't pick that weapon back up in the future um, and use it against us if like when we do have to go secure out the rest of the building. So from there we went and secured the rest, uh, marked down the rest of the victims, we did our secondary sweeps to make sure that we got everything that we needed to and then we came outside, relayed to medical what happened and then I escorted them inside to the victims so they could start performing TCCC actions on them. Uh, so the big thing I think is building camaraderie with medical and being able to communicate with them better in the future. Um, I know right now the only time they ever see us is when we go get checked up by them or they come over to us because they're missing an ID or something happens and then you make a report. So I think that's a really good sense on that. Uh, also so we can see what medical does on their aspect and get better training on that just in the event that they're, they're not able to respond right away. We can perform those TCCC actions.